shut it. Good job I ain't watching a bloody film, innit? Hello everyone. Big Paulie back for a brand new video. And I am reorganising everything. Hang on, we better go to another room. This is the cinema room. I wouldn't be able to hear a bloody thing. Even in the other room. <laughs> Even in the other room I could bloody hear it. Shut up. Wow. I don't know if it's somebody in the garden or if it's uh, some workmen over the other road. But anyway, uh, today's plans. One bookcase, two bookcases. So I'm going to build them up, put them into place. Then I've got to go to the storeroom, bring back the big boxes. Oh, there's Khaleesi. There she is. <laughs> yes, I've got to bring back a couple of bookcases. Bring up. It's doing my head in. That is doing my head in. Got to bring back some... Hang on, let's open the window. Jesus Christ. What the fuck? That's ridiculous. Don't they know that people have to watch movies and build book bookcases? Yes, so build the bookcases, get the containers from the storeroom, because that had all the Blu-rays in that we had to... Uh, take up to the storeroom when we were opening the room up for the boiler to be installed. This is going great, this video, isn't it? Anyway, I'm going to get to uh, start building the first bookcase. Okay, so one bookcase down. Da -da 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 -da. As you can see, the original colour. I don't. What colour is that? Is that like cherry wood or something? Unfortunately, they didn't have that colour anymore. All the black, no stock anywhere in Argos. So I had to go for all they had left, which was oak. And oak there as well. Yeah, so there wasn't any black. I don't know, I always was able to get black. Um, even in the cinema room. Typing in the postcode and oak was all that was available in about two stores within a hundred miles. Black totally out of order, or out of uh, stock. White totally out of stock. Some thin bookcases, some wider bookcases. But anyway, I'm glad I've got something. So we need to do the other one. And then I need to bring the Blu-rays back from the storeroom. Okay, so there we have one bookcase and the second one has been constructed. It's a bit thicker, pardon. Yeah, as you can see, so the Blu-rays are going to go to about there, whereas on this one, the Blu-rays are going to go to probably about there. So you could, I could do it double deep, but I figured probably I'd put some pop vinyl figures along the front. I think that might might look good. And I'm hoping to get those LED strip uh, that goes down there to the plug hole. So yeah, there we go. Um, I've kind of got an idea of what's going on here. I figured this unit here is going to primarily be the steel books because it's on an outside wall and a dividing wall to the next house. I figured it's stronger there so because it's going to be the weightiest. So yeah, that's going to look good when it's got the steel books in it. Uh, here's going to be a load of Blu-rays and the one over here is also going to be Blu-rays. Uh, Buffy, I've had to take off the wall. Poor old Buffy, because she was behind that. So I'm going to have to find a place for her. The units in the back bedroom, in the cinema room, are going to be everything that I want to grab my hands on straight away. So Star Wars, Disney, Pixar, Marvel, DC, um, Jurassic Park, all the franchises, X-Men and things like that. So yeah, I think it's going to look good. Um, I needed to do a proper sorting out uh, and then I can uh, have everything at my hands for when I do my complete collection. So yeah, so that's it for now. So uh, I'll give you an update in a little minute. Okay, so I've been moving some steel books around. There's still a few steel books in here, mainly 4K ones, but I've gathered up all the Blu-ray steel books that I could find and um what else have i got yeah and all the still books that were in the containers up in the storeroom 
So there's a few steel books down there, which are the Fast and the Furious. Uh, the steel books have been taken out of both the bottom there and the top. I still need to sort out all the 4Ks and everything here. So basically, I have all the steel books laid out on the bed. These are all the 3D and the Blu-rays. I need to sort through them, put them in alphabetical order, uh, and then put them over on the shelving. Okay, so the steel books are in the cabinet. Uh, pardon me. It's been quite a long day. Uh, I've still got more or less two shelves of empty space which I could still put some more steel books in from the uh, from the cinema room but anyway this is what it looks like so far yes so there we go so we've got four filled shelves at the moment they are all in alphabetical order uh, starting off with numbers then A and then going right through down to I think Y at the moment so that is day one down. Day two, I still need to sort loads out in the back bedroom. Uh, filter out a few extra steel books that can go in this cabinet. Uh, then I need to get um, all the Marvel and DCs lined up, all the Pixars <coughs> and the Disneys. And uh, yeah, just a all round clear out. I haven't actually found anything yet that I can get rid of, but there's probably going to be some doubles or quadruples. But anyway, that is all for day one. I'll see you on day two. Okay, so day two. Uh, I've started to clear the top shelf off, which has a lot of uh, kind of leftover Blu-rays that I couldn't fit in any of the other shelves. Uh, plus also there was the action figures up there as well. So uh, I haven't decided what's going to go along along the top. Um, I'm going to put the 4Ks up there for now, uh, laying down just so that they're out of the way of the chair in case I need to get to the chair. So uh, yeah, let's press on. Okay, so I've got all of the containers emptied out onto two beds because one bed they won't fit on. So uh, let's have a look, see what we've got. Oh my God. <laughs> I've got to put this lot into alphabetical order. Okay, so there is one lot that's come back from the storeroom. Now, are you ready for this? Brace yourselves. <laughs> I've got to put them in alphabetical order. So I think that's what's going to be the, the lengthiest thing. All the Blu-rays into alphabetical order because I've got more Blu-rays than anything else. Um, I did want to show you the, the 4K, 4Ks. Yes, I've put a lot of the 4Ks up there just to get them out of the way for, for the time being. But <laughs> that's all 4Ks. That's all 4Ks. Under there is all 4Ks. Yes, there's 4Ks everywhere. Uh, and I was just thinking, this is just a little fragment of the 4Ks. And if you take into cons consideration that they're 20 quid each, 20, 25 quid each, that's about 100 quid. Holy shit, us four collectors must have spent an insane amount of money on 4Ks. Oh dear me. What else have I done in here? Let's have a look. Yeah, so I've moved a lot of the box sets just down here just to keep them out of the way so I can tidy everything up. Uh, I've put pop vinyl figures down there just to keep them out of the way. So I've left with the Disney's and the Pixar's, which I am going to move. Uh, these, the, the big steelbook tins, that one, that one. Uh, where's the others? They're in here somewhere. Oh yeah, there they are. Lord of the Rings and Game of Thrones. I'm figuring they're going to go along the top there, maybe with a couple of pop vinyl figures in front of them, because they look good with the little lights shining up on them. Uh, this is going to be the Marvel and DC uh, shelf. So it's going to, it's not going to go like Marvel DC, DC there. It's going to go Marvel. DC right across and on here I got Pixar which is going to be Pixar Pixar Steelbooks and Disney all the way across so all of that lot needs moving as well so far the, the two shelves that I'm happy with that are in its right place are the Star Wars 
and uh, Star Treks. I've got a Band of Brothers and Pacific at the end there because I haven't got any more Star Treks at the moment. <sighs> yes, so I'm taking a bit of a breather. Uh, I should have used a step step on him step on it up step on it step on up step on it up yeah I should have used one of them <sighs> going backwards and forwards between rooms and downstairs I think I must have been up and downstairs probably about twenty times this morning <laughs> oh dear me but uh, we'll get there this is the first major purge I think since I had the collection since I start since I started the YouTube channel. Um, <sighs> I've tried to keep things in alphabetical order as much as I can, but when you keep getting new media, more media, more media, you either try and tuck it in every little space that you can find, every little crook and nanny. Crack and nanny, crack and nunny. <laughs> oh, I don't know what that is. You know what I'm talking about. Yes. Um, and then we just like, like double them up, you know, like put them face outwards and then you can't see what the hell you've got behind. So it's a mammoth task. Um, it needs to be done, though. Uh, I have come across quite a few doubles and Blu-rays that I really don't need to keep in the collection because I've got nice still books for them. So um, I will be also purging. Purge. Uh, we'll, yes, we shall be having a great purge. <laughs> but anyway, let's take a little break and then I'll get back to sorting out the A to Z. Oh, Christ's sake, that's going to take a few hours. Oh, dear. Okay, so finally finished the Blu-rays. Six hours. Well, five hours, taking into consideration a few breaks and lunch. But yes, it's taken six hours to get everything into alphabetical order and on the shelf. So this is the first bookcase, and these have never been so alphabetical in my collection ever. They are as alphabetical as you can get. So that is uh, that is one bookcase. I actually start up here with the numbers, and then go into the uh, the alphabet. And over here, it continues with all the S's, T's, right up to Z, and then we've got the. After I finish the last one is uh, Zombie Land. Then I've got the Studio Ghibli's and then music Blu-rays. Uh, still got to put all those DVDs. I've still got to sort of place out for those DVDs. I've separated the Blu-rays of the TV shows. So these are some of the TV shows that need to go back in the other room. Uh, but through that, I only found three that I need to get rid of at the moment. So Warm Bodies, which I'll take out of the red case because I want to keep the case. Three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri, uh, because I already have the American one. And Thin Red Line by uh, Terence Malick, uh, because I have the Criterion. And uh, with the steel books, um, I'll probably have a, a few 4Ks to get rid of, because I've since bought a few extra steel books, so I don't really need those. Um, such as like Super 8 because I bought the Zavi exclusive whereas I had the original like blue and black still book for that the Blu-ray so uh, I'll be getting rid of a few still books like that and a few 4Ks but I think that's it for today five hours I am knackered so I want to sit down watch a bit of TV and have a cup of coffee and a bicky or two and um, we'll plow on with day three tomorrow Sunday uh, I'll start on the 4Ks, so I'll start on the Marvel, the DCs and the Disney and the Pixars. And uh, the room's looking a lot more open now. Um, it's not so cluttered, so that's good. But uh, that's it for today, so I'll see you on day three. Okay, so we are on to day three. Yes, it is time to sort out. Marvel, DC, Pixar, and Disney. Uh, and then hopefully we'll get to the 4Ks up the top there. I do also have a shelf down here. Oh, yes, this shelf down here by the side ha also has Pixar, uh, Steelbooks, and also 3D. So they need to go up on the shelf as well. 
Okay, so we are getting there eventually. Yes, the 4Ks are still there. I've been working on these two shelves down here for the last about three hours. <laughs> Plus I've moved some steel books about. I found some steel books that I've got to take in the other room and put on the shelf. Yes, so right down the bottom there, we have all the blue fans. Steel books, some steel books. I don't know if to move them into the other room. If there's going to be room in the other room, I might move them in there. They're like franchises and series, plus also some down there. I've been digging out the space down there for the 4Ks. I thought I'm going to do the 4K right across there and then right across there and possibly right across that one as well. That's a lot of box sets that are in there. So I'll take them out because I'm going to have this shelf here for a lot of the box sets plus the other room as well. Uh, so Star Wars is all right. Star Trek is done. Marvel is all done and I've intermixed the 3Ds and the Blu-rays in with the steel books. They are in film order, more or less. I couldn't separate the Thors and Captain America and Iron Man's because they all come in those trilogy boxes. Uh, I have my blue fans up there. Uh, Marvel continues across here. This is the Mondos. A few more blue fans up there. Then we have the DCs to the end there. And there's a Wonder Woman because it's a, oh Christ's sake, not again. And down here we have Pixar's and then the Pixar steel books. And then we have the Disney's, uh, I've got to put them into either film release order or alphabetical order. So that's that so far. And as I say, there's the Star Trek. Um, I've also got a load of Disney 3Ds. So as well as having Pixar's on 4K, Pixar's on Steelbook, I've also got Pixar's on 3D, so I need to find somewhere for them. Unfortunately, I haven't got enough room along these shelves to put those Pixar's, so I might just put the Pixar 3Ds maybe on that top shelf over there. Haven't decided yet. So I still have the uh, TV box sets that I've got to put up. Uh, all the, they're all DVDs, like, you know, the crappy, well, not so much crappy, but a lot of these are, uh, they're like the three pound, five pound DVDs from Argos. And I'm starting a bag, which is gonna be a lot of trade-ins. There's the jewel case ones, which I've got to find a place for those. And these are the extra steel books I found as well. So those steel books, I've got a slot in, in between there. It shouldn't be too difficult, because I can just move one or two. Okay, so, so far I'm happy with what I've got up there. I've left a little bit of a gap uh, because there will be new Marvel and DC things added. Uh, now my next task, and probably the last task for today, is to dig out all the 4Ks and the 4Ks in there, and all that lot up there, alphabeticalize it, and run it right across alphabetical order, and maybe that shelf there as well. That's the last task for the for the day, I think. Okay, I think we are done for another day. That's the end of day three. I thought I could do it all in three days, but no way, no way. It's going to take at least five to six days. But uh, I'll show you what I've done so far. Okay, so as I said, I've got all those still books down there. Um, might still be taking those in the other room. These are all the 4K box sets that I've just had to put out of the way. Because uh, they're, I can't put them anywhere at the moment. Uh, I've moved the box sets off here. Lord of the Rings and the Game of Thrones. Put the action figures there. These are all box sets as well that I've got to sort out and put in a in a place. But so far from the top, so we have all the Marvel and DC along there, and then we have all the Pixar. I still haven't sorted those into alphabetical or film order 
Then we have the Star Wars and Star Treks. Then I've sorted the 4Ks. So you start have started from A, so we have 4Ks going all the way along to the end there. And then 4Ks from there going all the way along to the end there. And then we have 4Ks down there and the still books. Uh, and I need to sort that area out over there. The area at the bottom there has got TV box sets, which I might move into the other room. Because if I can move all the DVDs into the other room, then I've got space here to put all the, uh, hopefully, all the uh, the Blu-ray box sets. And then up the top, that's where I've got the still book tins. So I've got Mad Max, uh, Godzilla, Harry Potter, Game of Thrones, Hobbit and Lord of the Rings, plus the game um, Breaking Bad, Game of Thrones, no it's not, it's a Guardians of the Galaxy mug and Sons of Anarchy box set. As you can probably tell my voice is a bit thingy in. Uh, I need to drink a bit more actually, I haven't drunk much. But we get in there, we're almost there, I reckon another two days we'll ought to do it. Um, nothing else that I can do for the rest of the day, I think I'm just going to have a rest now. But there we go, that is it, so uh, that is day three, I'll see you on day four. We've got Monday, which will be Blu-ray hunting, and then Tuesday I'm at work, so day four will be Wednesday. So hopefully day four and day five, I can get it all finished and then do a proper tour for you. So I'll see you on day four. Okay, so it is day four. Um, today I'm going to be reorganising the box sets. Everything from 4K box sets to standard Blu-ray box sets, the HMV exclusives, stuff like that. I've already started putting a couple up the top there, uh, but I'll show you which ones are going to have to move. So at the moment, I've got all the box sets laid out here. Uh, and all of these ones down here, they all need to find a place. I've started to catalogue the 4K box sets in alphabetical order. Uh, I'm probably going to have to store the Blu-ray ones in the other room though. Okay, so I have managed to put all of the box sets in there. I shall go through them at the end of the video. I've got a couple of displays there, up here as well, and also over there. I've put a couple of displays on the top there as well, on the top of these still books. Uh, all I need to sort out, I don't really think I need to sort out the arrows, uh, but I will put them in alphabetical order. So everything is done here. These last two shelves here, behind Indiana Jones, that's some Dexter there. So I've got the premium editions, so I need to uh, find a place for those. Uh, and all the bottom is DVDs, which will go in the other room. Well, I've got all of the Blu-rays sorted in the cinema room, all of the Blu-rays sorted in the other room. Uh, just doing a little bit more alphabetical uh, for the arrow titles and then it's dvds so i just need to organize the dvds and then i think we're pretty much done <sighs> yeah i think we're pretty much done i do have space for additional titles so that's good and i've left gaps every now and again in various collections uh, for when new releases come out Right, okay, I'm going to have a little break. And then on with the DVDs. God, that means all the old shitty ones as well. Okay, so the last stuff I need to move is these DVD box sets. And these DVDs. Hopefully I can fit it all in there. I've got three shelves to play with. Then the bottom there is the DVD jewel cases that are in uh, alphabetical order. So yeah, let's uh, fiddle about with these and try and put them in some kind of order. Okay, so everything looks good. So I've got the TV shows in there, all in alphabetical order, plus also all the crappy DVDs, like the £5 ones and the £3 ones. Uh, some good DVDs, uh, a few series as well, plus also the dual cases down there as well. Okay, we are done. We are finished after four days. Everything is finished. Oh, thank God for that. <laughs> Don't ever do that again. <laughs> yes, unfortunately, it's too dark to show you everything now. 
uh, it's like nearly six o'clock so on the next clip it will be a room tour of the cinema room here and of the bedroom and an overview of the collection so thanks for staying with me through these last four days and enjoy the collection okay so fresh day it's time to do the complete collection and room tour so follow me into the other bedroom oh i say missus and we shall start with uh, what i've done in there okay so we are in the bedroom you can see i've also put loads of figures up there so let me turn the camera around and uh, i'll show you how i've organized it okay so first of all walking in the door we have this big bookcase here and this is all standard blu-rays all in alphabetical order they do start from the numbers so i've started from like 12 strong we've got 1941 21 bridges and all that stuff then it goes into the a's uh alphabetical order and uh my collection has never been in such an alphabetical order before for some reason i'm missing bad santa i do have i do own it but I can't seem to find it, so unless I lent it to Lulu. Yes, so that is the entire collection, and that goes right down there to to the R's. Ooh, R. And then over onto this bookcase here. Another bookcase with lots of media, yes. Uh, and then the R's continue across here to scary stories. So we've got all the S's. And then we have all the T's down there, the V's, uh, W's, and then we have the Studio Ghibli's and all my music Blu-rays. And then going down here, we have the DVD box sets. These are in alphabetical order. Uh, so we have some nice big box sets there, with Indiana Jones as well. And then here as well, Malcolm in the Middle. I've got two Malcolm in the Middles. Uh, the big box set was sent to me very kindly uh, by fr um, from the chair. Uh, the other one came from a subscriber mail, which is an American release. So there we have a um, really nice Primeval box set I was sent as well, which has a really, really nice lenticular cover on it. Never seen that before, so I was happy to receive that. I'm happy to receive all my subscriber mail. Yes. <laughs> and, and then we start with all the crap. So this is all the crap DVDs. Uh, all the cheap ones, you know, like the £5, the £3. They're all in alphabetical order. And then right at the end there, we have my jewel cases. And then on the top, what used to be on the top of the bookcase in the cinema room, I had the Star Wars... Uh, retro cards shut up seagulls so i've put them up here with some pop vinyl figures some star wars figures and we have my spider-man calendar there sent very kindly by evanda shut up seagulls and over here we have my still books these are just the blu-ray steel books okay so well first of all i've got han solo so yeah he's just looking after everything that is an empty Star Wars Empire Strikes Back case. If anybody wants an empty Star Wars Empire Strikes Back case, let me know. And it's yours. So I have some of the Marvel figures up at the top there, which used to be underneath the TV, but I've brought them in and put them here. So we have the still books starting in number order, all through alphabetical. Yes, I do own fan four stick get over it <laughs> so we go all the way down all the way down with the steel books right down to the ends the r's the t's right down to the bottom so that's it in here so let me take you to the other room okay most stuff has stayed the same in here apart from the actual collection so all of the pictures that are on the walls are exactly the same it's just the collection that's changed so first of all, as we enter the door, I have my little Batman display here. So I put the uh, Christopher Nolan Trilogy Steelbook set here with also the tumbler. There's Batman there, he's looking after the last steelbook. And also the cowl as well. This was only cost four quid. <laughs> yes, from Amazon. 
So uh, you don't have to spend shit loads of money just to make it look good. <laughs> all right, down here, we have all of my 4K box sets. They are all in alphabetical order as well. Well, apart from the top ones. Yeah, I've got the Top Gun and the Thing up the top there, but I couldn't squeeze them in. Uh, down here, we have uh, all the Blu-rays. So uh, everything down here is Blu-ray box set. So the top row is really the only 4K box sets that I have uh, for display in there. Down the bottom there, we have more Blu-ray box sets. So that entire cabinet there is just box sets, Blu-ray and 4K. And then we go up here. And well, behind there, I've shown you that before. That's my signed Vampire Diaries uh, photo. Also signed by Paul Wesley. Yes, the new James T. Kirk. All right, let's put that there. So we have a uh, Quantum Leap, my uh, Blu-rays. And then we have Prison Break there. I've put behind it the separate release that they came out with, just to keep it together. We have Once Upon a Time, uh, which I need to carry on watching at some point which was subscriber mail and also Rocky up there. We have Nipper there. Oh yeah, let me show you the little furries first. So I've rearranged the furries. So there is little Goosey and we've got all the Porgs there, all happy. And we have Superman there as well and a Porg cup. Unfortunately, the old blow up doll went down. So <laughs> she's deflated. Okay, and so over here, we have, well, we obviously we have a, a light up Stormtrooper. On the top display there that used to have some of the tin steel books, um, I've put the Ghostbusters car back with the uh, the trilogy there. That's a trilogy. I thought there was four films. Now there's a trilogy. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then we have some steel books down here. These are mainly franchises and collections. So we've got uh, Walking Dead there, Fast and Furious. All the Fast and Furious is. Then we have all the Transformers, John Wicks and stuff like that. And down there we have another load, Expendables, Creed, John Creed. Um, some Lord of the Rings, some Hobbits as well down there. That is me HMV Premium Editions. Yes, I haven't got as many as Kermit. That's the only ones that I've bought. And right down the bottom there, which you can't really see... Don't worry, that thing is not flashing. If it looks like that that thing is flashing, it's not flashing. It just looks like it on the camera. <laughs> uh, they're all my uh, Blue Fans editions. Right down the bottom there. So yes, happy with those. Uh, what else have we got? Right, spin right round. I'm spinning around, getting dizzy. Okay, so to the main collection area. Right, let's start at the top. Right, okay, so the Steelbook tins including the Harry Potters and the Mad Max and all that kind of shit. They're all now along the top where the pop vinyl figures used to be. Plus I've got a Breaking Bad Steelbook collection. I've got some uh, Hot Fuzz and all that. Oh, look, happy memories. <laughs> oh dear me. Yes, and right on the top, I've put a couple of extra box sets. There we go. So there's some 4K box sets along the top there. Plus also my... Uh, Everything Blue Mummy box set and a mug. And the top shelf is Marvel. Uh, the way I've arranged this is I've mixed in the 3Ds with the 4Ks. So I used to have a separate 4K section and a separate 3D section, but I thought I'd just put them all together because they're all the same film. So as you see, I've got Guardians of the Galaxy 4K there and then Guardians of the Galaxy 3D. So I've done it, I've intermixed it with all of them. So we've got two Doctor Stranges as well. So yes, I've mixed in uh, the Marvel Steelbooks in with the 4Ks. You can see there, Captain Marvel and Spider-Man. And Eternals was the last one there. I've got the Avengers. And um, actually, those two need to be moved. Yeah, I was going to say, they never came after Eternals. So I'll move those over to there. Uh, and I've also put the uh, the Spider-Man 4K ones there, the Sony ones. There, up the top there, we have my Blue Fans Marvel ones. And a few Blue Fans Marvels up the top there. 
This side is the Mondo Steelbooks. And then we have the DC Steelbooks. Some more DC stuff. And then I'll put those Batman ones at the end there because they're sort of like oversized ones. And then of course we've got me Oscar for the best small home movie theatre. Yes, very proud to win that award. <laughs> okay, right, hang on, let's put him up there. Right, okay, so down here, this is my Pixar shelf. So this is all the Pixars in 4K, all in release order. And then I have all the steel books, all in release order, right up to, uh, right up to Luca. And then we have all the Disney live actions, so the 3Ds are with the 4Ks, and we've got some right along to the end there. So that's fantastic. And then we have the Star Wars uh, shelf. So we have little baby Grogu there. He's uh, looking after everything. A couple of pop vinyl figures I'll put on the top there, so that it's um, a bit open. Because I used to put all the 4Ks in there. If you remember, I had the 4Ks there, then I had another load of 4Ks on top. But it's a bit of a squeeze. Yeah, I don't want to bugger up the, uh, the slip covers. So we start here with uh, the Star Wars trilogy, uh, trilogy box set. Is that the trilogy box set? It's the Complete Saga. Yes, the one that's now really cheap in CEX, I think. Then we got the uh, the Zavi 4K steelbooks, and then some other steelbooks from various places, and a Rogue One, Mandalorian, and all that kind of shit. And then we have the Blue Fans ones, Millennium Falcon there, got some little figures there, plus the steelbook metal thing. Over here we have Star Trek, uh, starting with the William Shatner films, and then we go on to like all the Next Generation films, original series, and then we have uh, the new films, we have Enterprise, and then the still books for like Picard and Discovery, Next Generation still books. I put those two at the end there, the Pacific and Band of Brothers. They're nothing to do with Star Trek, of course, but I just wanted to plug that gap up. Um, so that there's space available for when I get new Star Trek stuff in. Plus we also have the Deep Space Nine station there. And a couple of figures as well. That's good. Okay, down here. This is where the, where the 4K section starts. So these are all 4Ks and they all start alphabetically. So they're all in A's. So they go all the way along there. And they continue on that shelf. All the way up to the end there. Right along to the end and then we skip down a shelf and that continues from the the top one up there so yes there we have all the 4ks going along along more 4ks more 4ks right along to the end and then right out to there again and then pull back pardon <laughs> and then we have the next lot of 4ks uh, and that ends on the X-Men movies, the steelbooks. And then I've got a gap. I've got some numbered 4K ones there. Down here I've got me uh, Stranger Things VHS uh, Blu-rays. Behind... Oh, hang on, it's falling out. <laughs> Let's put it down there. Uh, behind we have uh, Malcolm Horror Stories. Uh, we have some TV shows. So these are all in alphabetical order. These are... TV shows like Dexter and that right along to the very end and then we've got Lost we are lost and then right down the bottom we have the arrows so the the larger arrow limited editions and then we have the standard arrows the standard arrows I haven't yet put into alphabetical order so I need to sort those ones out and then down the bottom here let's move that out of the way Oop. And then we have uh, some John Carpenter stuff uh, and the 101s. And then those ones right down there along the bottom, they're all me Disney Pixar 3Ds. Yeah, so I didn't know whether or not to actually get rid of my Disney Pixar 3Ds or just or just keep them. I mean, I still use, you know, I still have my projector. I haven't used it for a while, my 3D projector, because I tend to just watch everything on the TV in 4K. But if I want to stick a 3D on, then I've got it. So I probably won't get rid of them. Uh, but yeah, that is the collection. So I hope you enjoyed the videos. Um, it's probably gone on for about half an hour or so. If not a little bit longer. 
Um, took four days, but we got there. The collection is the best looking it's ever looked now. The most alphabetical it's ever been. I just need to keep it that way. And uh, I do have some more movies to slot in all oh, eventually. But I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like it by giving it some thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, comment and share. I can now sit down, enjoy my collection and start watching some stuff because I haven't watched a film in about, I don't know, about a week. <laughs> it's been too busy and I've been too tired. Yes, so hope you enjoyed the video. Till the next one. Bye bye.